Today, we're gonna to pick up with the story of Zachariah. If you were with us earlier, we discovered that when an angel appeared to Zachariah telling him that he and his wife, Elizabeth, were going to have a son in their old age, Zachariah responded with unbelief. Well, as a result, he was rendered speechless throughout Elizabeth's pregnancy. Well, today we see that after months of being silenced, Zachariah is a new man. Their baby has been born and Elizabeth tells people that he will be called John. But the crowd protests. You see, they assumed he was to be named after his father, Zachariah. So in Luke 1, verses 62 to 68, we read, Then they made signs to his father to find out what he would like to name the child. He asked for a writing tablet, and to everyone's astonishment, he wrote, His name is John. And then we see a miracle take place. Zachariah's speech is restored to him. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue set free and he began to speak praising God. All the neighbors were filled with awe and throughout the hill country of Judea, people were talking about all these things. Everyone who heard this wondered about it asking, what then is this child gonna be? For the Lord's hand was with him. Zachariah has clearly learned his lesson. He believed God by naming his son John, just as God told him to do. Where his unbelief had silenced him, his belief opened his mouth and set his tongue free to praise God. I really believe there's a huge lesson in here for us. What's in our hearts comes out in our mouths. In fact, Romans 10, 9 says, if you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. See, salvation is not a private matter to God. In fact, we're told that we need to declare it with our mouth, say it out loud, Jesus is Lord. This is an act of faith and it declares to others and to the kingdom of darkness that you believe God and you're following Jesus. There's power in our words, power to bring life, spiritual life. Don't let the enemy keep you silent any longer. When God gave Zachariah his speech back, he immediately praised God and spoke a beautiful prophecy about his son, John the Baptist. John's role was to prepare people's hearts to believe that Jesus was in fact the Messiah and that, he, that they should turn to him. See, what comes out of our mouth matters. So what comes out of your mouth? Is it belief or unbelief? Is it faith or doubt? Open wide your mouth and tell someone today that you believe in Jesus and that he is the reason for Christmas.